So now we will start working on a sign in and sign up route. So we should write routes in a separate file, right? We should not write all the code in this app.js. We should separate out the code. So we will be creating a separate folder and I will give it a name of routes, right? And I will create a file in here. Let's say auth auth.js. Okay. Yeah. So first we need to require express, right? Const uh expre double s express equal to uh require express and from express we will be using router right const r o u t e r router and express uh, dot router right so we will be making a routes and separate file that is why we are making use of router from express now here we can create routes right so we can create use this router and we can create a get route right we can create a post route dot post post like so so let's create a get route right, right? and uh, we let's say slash and here we can write request comma response and let's say res dot send and hello right we can send hello now we need to export this right uh, router so here we will be writing module and uh, module dot exports and equal to router now we need to register this router uh, this file in our uh, app.js right so we will be maybe we can uh, write after this right model and we need to write that inside this app dot use right inside this app dot use we can require re q re r e q u require and dot slash routes slash auth routes okay dot slash a u t h like so so this is how we can register our routes okay so let's save this and let's see if our server is running. The server is running. So let's make a get request to slash route. So here we'll be making get request to slash route. Let's see here we can see hello is being being responded, right? Okay. So now let's start working. So let's start working on our sign up route, right? Let's first. Okay. So yeah. So yeah. So here we can write router dot post so this will be a post route because we will be posting data right we will be posting name email and password right so we will be making a post request let's say slash s i g n u p sign up route and this will fire so we can uh, add a callback right request or response when user will request on sign up then this callback will fire right now from the front end we will be sending name password and email so we can uh, get that name email and password from this request dot body let's say we want to name we want to access the name so we can access the name like so what i will do i will console dot log first console dot log this right name now we need to test this right we need to test this route and this is a post route so we cannot test this in this directly in the, using this browser right so we need a service right so we will be making use of this postman to test the route so you can install this postman you can go to this postman website and you can install it on your machine i have already installed that okay so we can make use of this postman to test our apis right so here we'll i will be clicking on this new right i will be making a post request right and to the url of let's say localhost localhost uh, localhost 5000 and that will be signup sign up right yeah and in here inside this header i need to also add content type so c o n t e uh, c n content yeah this content type and this will be a json right application slash json so i'll be sending json data from the front end okay so we need to add that in the header okay so now in this body we can select here raw right and let's send the json data 
right okay so it will have a name right so we can send name let's say mukesh we will be sending mukesh right okay we need to put this name in quotes like so okay so we are passing name from our front end right so we'll be passing name from front end and here we have written here console.log that name right let's save this and let's see if our server is running right okay it is running and i will click on this send to make a request now this will throw it is throwing an error what the error is saying so it is saying that cannot read property name let's have a look on our console it's showing that cannot read a property of name of undefined so name is undefined now why that this name is undefined because you know our server our express server doesn't automatically pass the request to json right so we need to tell our server to pass the request right so again we will be making use of this app dot use and inside this i will be making use of this express and i will write here json to parse all the incoming requests right so again this is a kind of a middleware that is why we are writing it inside this app dot use because we want to take all the incoming requests and pass that to the json right that is why right pass that to the json before it reaches to the actual route handler okay let's save this and okay our server has restarted now let's make a, again a request right let's click on this send and again i think we are getting an error so what i will do i will go to my this server and i will open my auth and uh, for now i'll get rid of this name let's see what response we are getting right uh, let's see what we have in this request body okay so let's see if a server has restarted okay let's make a request to this send okay now this is this will hang because we are not we are not responding right but let's have a look on this okay so we have this undefined here right so maybe i haven't saved my app.js file oh my bad so i have used this uh, after this routes so, oh my bad so i need to use this control x before the routes right okay i need to put this line before right before this route okay the order uh, order obviously matters right so first we need to parse and then we need to write this route handlers okay then we need to require this route handler okay let's save this okay and let's see if our server has restarted oh it hasn't okay so let's restart that and now we will be again making a request let's see if it has connected to mongo okay so let's click on the send so this will hang right this will hang but let's have a look on our console here you can see we have this name and that is mukesh okay so we can access uh, the data from the uh, front end which we are sending in request dot body right okay so now what i will do i will destructure uh, let's say name and we will be passing an email and we will be passing a paws word password right and i will restructure that request that from request dot po body like so okay now first we will check if email emai email is present if email is empty or if email or let's say password p a w s password a w s password and name are empty then we will send an error right so we will respond with an error res dot send res, res dot or we will send a json response for that we can use this json right so we'll send a json it will have a key of error and here we can write please pl please add all the fie rds fields fields like so okay else here we can respond with the json of let's say uh, uh m e double s message of let's say s u double c e double s successfully sent right okay successfully posted p o p o s t d posted okay yeah so let's test this out okay let's see if our server has restarted okay server has restarted so we will be passing name and 
email email right and let's say mukesh at the rate mukesh dot com and let's say oh comma password p a w s w r d p a w s w password will be let's say one two three four okay let's make a request right here you can see response we are, as a response we are getting this message successfully posted okay now let's say if we forgot to uh, put password right so uh, the password will be empty now let's say if i click on the send now let's see what we get here here you can see we are getting please add all the field error right here you can see we have this got the, the response error but here you can see status code is 200 right now this 200 mean everything went correctly right everything went okay but we should not get this 200 because we have encountered an error right so default status code is 200 that means that uh, that which means that everything went smooth right everything went correctly but but in case of error we should change the status quo right it's not come it, it, it's not uh, mandatory but it's good practice to send the status code status with a different code right which shows that it is an error so we will send a different we will send a status code along with the response let's say 422 which means that server has understood the request but server cannot process that right okay so let's save this now let's again make a request right and let's see if the status code changes so i'll again make a request right here you can see 422 unprocessable entity here you can read on that uh, request was well form formed but unable to be followed due to cementing errors okay so 422 is a kind of a good status code right okay so that which says that the server has understood the request but it cannot process because that's an error okay so what i will do if we encounter this error we don't want to proceed further so here i'll be putting return r e t u r return return like so okay so this was a kind of a basic validation which we did right and we learned right how to get that data right using this request dot body so yeah this is it for this video we'll be working on this uh, sign up screen in the next video right so we'll be working on the sign up screen more in this next video so i'll see you guys in the next video